Hello everybody, I want to show you in this video how you can transfer data from the internal storage to the micro SD card at the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Now for that we will need the file explorer and there's already one pre-installed. So just go to the app drawer then we will need the Samsung folder and here's the app I meant it is named My Files. Okay. We have an overview here on top with our recent files and this one is also very nice because some categories with images, videos, audios and so on, everything is organized here. But we will need this point here, the internal storage. Okay, here are all our folders here on our internal storage and uh, I would recommend to you to start with the pictures and videos you have done with your camera. You will find them here at the DCIM folder and here the camera folder. And here are all the pictures and videos you have done with your camera. Okay, to select one of these uh, pictures, just long press one and then you have marked it. Now you're able also to mark other ones you want to transfer or in case if it's many, then just go here on all. Okay, now you have the opportunity to copy them, maybe for the safety, huh? or to move them if you want to have more storage uh, at your internal storage. Yeah? Okay, that we want to do. Yeah? So just go on move. Okay, now go back one step and another step and another step so that you're back in the uh, main overview here. And now just go here to the SD card. Yeah, my SD card have already many folders here. I really recommend this to you uh, because um, that gives you a better overview because if you have many pictures and documents and so on and everything is mixed up, you cannot find them easily again. So create folders for. Um, you can create folders, by the way, just on the three points here and go and create folder and you can make a folder maybe for your camera pictures and documents and so on. Huh? Okay, I have already a DCM folder here. Of course, we used it. Um, then the camera one. And this is the folder I want to uh, have my pictures in I have marked before. So just go on move here and now the pictures and videos I have marked before are transferred now here um, to this folder. Let me go back because I want to show you something else. Let's go again to the internal storage. The same thing I have done with the files, you can do the same thing also with folders. Just long press one folder and now you have also the opportunity, uh, if you mark also some other ones, to move them or to copy them. Uh, same thing. But please take care that you only uh, take folders which one contains only um, yeah, files like music, files, uh, document files, uh, videos, pictures and so on. Uh, because uh, some folders can contain operating system data. So please make sure that there's no operating system data in, your fo in the folder you want to move because this could give the phone some problems. You don't want that. Okay. Let me show you something else. Because um, if you don't want to do this all the time with your pictures no, and videos and so on, just go here on the camera app then go here to the settings and then scroll down a bit to the point storage location. And if there's internal storage right now, you should change it to the SD card because that means that your future pictures and videos are going directly to the SD card and you don't have to transfer them all the time and so on. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer a question. Um, I'm very sorry for my English, but I hope you could understand everything. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something out that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and you have created also some other videos if you're interested in, or maybe just subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Uh, thank you so, so much for all your support and uh, yeah, maybe the next time. <laughs> Ciao.